Hi, Clifton Fine. I'm making some videos with my student, Lewis. Lewis, say hi. He just got done with practice. He was a little sweaty. We wanted you to know that, especially you, Hunter. So, I um, hope you enjoy the videos. Bye. All right, Mike, I'm going to show you the zinc and uh, hydrochloric acid to make a balloon then to ignite the balloon. So, I don't know what you have for hydrochloric acid. If it looks like this and it's a stock solution, it's 12 molar. That's very, very concentrated. You gotta be careful. You should wear gloves with it, but I'm a professional. Now, all this, I don't know if you can see the fumes, is chlorine gas, which is you know, poisonous. So you wanna be careful. For this, you want about six molar, which is really, still really, really strong. So I'm just doing a 50-50 mix of, of uh, hydrochloric acid, and then I'm going to dilute it with about 50 mils of water. Now you have to be careful because as soon as you pour the water in, it's going to react with what's left over of the hydrochloric acid and make more chlorine gas. Try not to breathe it. If you can do this in a fume hood, it's better. So now I have my six molar hydrochloric acid. All you need is some kind of flask. Um, I have a stopper with the glass tube going through it fits to my glass. I use mossy zinc, which I'm pour some mossy zinc into the bottom. And you have to get your balloon prepped. You want it to make sure it blows up easy. So the balloon's ready. I put it in my glass tube into it, pinch it off so it'll fill up. As soon as I pour my acid in, it's gonna start making hydrogen gas. Now I'm catching my hydrogen gas. It's an endo or an exothermic reaction, so it's also very hot. You can see it bubbling. And the hydrogen gas is going to fill up my balloon. Um, we're going to get a nice big balloon here for the demonstration. The bigger the better. I tend to use in class, I use smaller balloons. Um, but you just have to make sure you make enough acid. You can also do this with three molar hydrochloric acid. But you have to be careful because it does get really hot, like right now. So. I'm going to stop there. Now, like I said, hydrogen gas is the lightest gas in the world. So this is a lot lighter than helium, except it has its drawbacks. So I'm going to have one of my students, Lewis, so very light, he's going to give me a hand and show you why we don't use hydrogen gas in balloons, we use helium instead. And this is still puffing out a lot of hydrogen gas. So maybe I'll move this to the back so we don't blow anything else up. All right. Now what I do, I like to play it safe, get a yardstick, throw a couple matches on the end. Just gotta tape them. All right, Lewis, come on up. Did I do it with the lights off? Yeah. All right, he's gonna turn the lights off. Here, I'll trade with you. You hold this and you can light it. I'll, I'll turn the lights off and then take over. Come here, no. Hold this, get ready. You're not gonna get the shot. Can I stand back a bit? Yeah, go ahead. All right, now he's gonna to touch the balloon with the match. And that's what happens when you ignite helium, and that's why we do not use helium in our balloons. Oh, no, 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 hang on. You're ridiculous, man. Okay, we're making elephant toothpaste. This is 30% hydrogen peroxide. It's a very strong oxidizer. That's why we're wearing gloves, because it'll react with your skin. This is sodium iodide. It's our catalyst. Solid liquid. This is our dish soap. It catches the oxygen here. And this is our formula. Hydrogen peroxide decomposes into hydrogen and oxygen. Okay? You got that? Oh, this is our food coloring. Nothing special. It's just going to change the color so you can see it better. Now, Mr. Huntley is going to come up and help me pour the soap into this. And it's going to be very careful not to get it on the sides. 
I failed. Okay, now here you go. So Lou, make sure you get it with the hydrogen peroxide so it goes into the... Yeah, I, I got you. And you want to swirl it around after two. Uh, of course. How much do I need? Not like that much on the bottom. Did I get it? Oh, keep going. No, I mean, did I get it off the side? Oh, yeah, I think so. A little more. Okay. You have not put food coloring in yet. What do I do with it? Oh, you can do it now. Now I shake it, right? Yeah, like. Yeah. You know what I'm doing? That's good. Oh. I got some of my gloves. That's okay. Though. Now, when you put the stopper in, you gotta be quick after you put your catalyst in. We just not do it with the stopper, I'm not comfortable. You'll be fine. No. Yeah, I'll be fine. No, I'm just gonna let it go. Don't like that. Now your your sodium iodide. You need a little scoop. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Get in there. And now. Have your toothpaste, which Mr. Huntley is going to clean up. <laughs> <laughs>